What's up YouTube, this is time for another video review and this time it's for the Pipo M8 Pro. This is a tablet with a 9.4 inch 1280 by 768 IPS display. It has a Rockship 3188 quad core processor running at uh, 1.6 GHz and it has the Mali 400 GPU which you can find in the, the GPU you can find in Samsung Galaxy S2 so it can run games very well. It has Bluetooth. 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage and a 6500 million battery. That sounds on the low side on the battery but it's actually very good. I, uh, the website is saying that it gets around uh, 7 hours but in my testings and I've been using it for um, about 2 weeks now and it actually get around 8 to 12 hours of normal use. So it's a good, it's, it's a good amount of hours. Let's take a look at the tablet different, uh, different ports and such. On the front you'll notice a two, uh, front facing 2 megapixel camera and uh, you notice uh, uh, the front speakers which are stereo and we, they are very loud and very clear but if you crank up the volume to the highest setting it can actually begin to crack but that doesn't really matter because you don't have to put the speakers at the full volume settings because they are loud all the time. So. It's good speakers and very loud and I like that. On the side you'll notice the power button is here and on the top the PIPA has all the, uh, the ports that you will need. It has the micro SD card uh, uh, port, the microphone, the mini host USB slot which you can use in order to use a mini USB to regular USB to connect uh, uh, a mouse or a keyboard or a gamepad for that and this is the regular mini USB which you use to uh, transfer files on the tablet this is a mini HDMI port which I will demonstrate later this is the power jack and this is the menu and the escape uh, button it looks like a volume rocker but this tablet uh, only has on screen volume rocker so uh, this is not a volume rocker but that doesn't matter because the on screen uh, buttons actually works pretty well and on the top you'll notice the 3.5 mm 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and on the back you'll notice this aluminum casing and it has a, a rear facing 5 megapixel camera with uh, autofocus and an LED flash and the reset button and like I said it's made out of uh, aluminum and it's actually very good the build quality is actually rather surprising since it's a Chinese tablet on a budget and uh, I would actually say that this uh, compares to the Nexus 7 or the Galaxy Note 10.1 or uh, a tablet from Acer. It actually is very good build quality. It doesn't bend or doesn't quirk. It doesn't feel like it's going to break when you use it like many other Chinese tablets often do. And let's now look at the menu and interfere uh, or and yeah and yes uh, <laughs> and the inside of the Android system of this Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. It actually came with Android 4.1.1 but people has released an official firmware to Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Yes, to prove that you'll see it there. Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Let's do a better focus. Yeah, you can see it there. Let's try a game out like Plasma Sky, which is one of my favorite games. It runs very good on the tablet. And I like this game a lot. Let's resume. The touchscreen works very good. Has no problem with it. Uh, it hasn't uh, flipped out like I heard that uh, people could have a problem with sometimes, but it hasn't happened to me. Works just fine. Very responsive very smooth. Let's go back. Turn that off on the multitask screen. You see I have a lot of stuff here on the multitask screen. Let's load up Toy Story. It's a more 3D intensive game so you can see how it performs there. I haven't bought it yet. Gonna buy it later. And you can hear the speakers are very loud. Turn it off. This is a very 3D and physics-based uh, physics game, so you can see how it performs. Get those aliens down. Yeah, I finished that pretty fast. Let's go back. 
and let's do what you actually would want to do with a tablet and that is to browse the web. Here we have a YouTube page, page loading up, it's Ray William Johnson. It's loading the page just fine and it's starting a commercial now. I don't like commercials but you have to have them sometimes. Come on. The flash actually works pretty good on the tablet. But uh, Flash is now longer, no longer supported by Android f officially, so you have to install it manually. So it can be a bit so I was reading weird sometimes. Comment now the starting. other day. You know, every now and then I like to read a comment, and it said, "I am learning the English from Ray's video." Guys, let me Works very good. Don't learn the English from. Let's uh, load up a common website like CNN, just so you can see how fast it loads. And now it's done. Very smooth scrolling. Pinch to zoom works perfectly. And by this, I'm going to ch change over to the HDMI ports and uh, and uh, show how that works. Welcome back. And now it's time to look how the tablet acts when you are using it via an HD uh, TV. Right now it's going through the HDMI ports, going to my 46 inch full HD TV and it's working perfectly. I've had zero issues doing this and uh, let's go into more like more 3D type heavy games and more web browsing and let's try out the microphone. What's the weather in New York City? It's 31 degrees and clear in New York. As you can see, it works very nicely with the microphone, and it also speaks back on the, the Google Now. Who is Lionel Messi? According to Wikipedia, Lionel Andres Messi is an Argentine footballer who plays as a forward for La Liga club FC Barcelona and the Argentinian national team. As you can see, it works very nicely. The microphone can pick up my uh, voice very good. Let's go into a little bit more of 3D games, a little bit more 3D heavy games. This is Blitz Brocade, which is an awesome game, if you ask me, it's a very good game. Many people say that it's a ripoff of Team Fortress 2, but I actually don't care because it's on Android and it's awesome. Play online, logging in. Let's talk about the Wi Fi real quick before it logs in here. Uh, I've had zero issues do, uh, with the Wi Fi. I can't really uh, talk about the range since I haven't. Uh, I have a very small apartment that I live in, and uh, I'm very close at my router at all times, so I can't really comment on the Wi-Fi range. But I can talk about that uh, the Wi-Fi has never dropped on me. Well, maybe one time it has dropped on me, and um, I don't know what happened. I just restarted the tablet and it worked perfectly again. Um, it doesn't have the random. Uh, Dropouts or the random just uh, just random crashes in the Wi-Fi, and the tablet the tablet is also not crashing at random like I've heard many Chinese tablets do. It's actually working pretty damn good. As you, I will demonstrate here. This is a very 3D heavy game, and it's set on the highest uh, highest uh, graphic settings that you can put on. Let's see if we can find an enemy to shoot. Why? Why was I removed? Let's try that again. That was some kind of mistake on their part, not the tablet or me. Yes, yes, yes. Well, let's talk uh, a little bit about the tablet and uh, how it runs. I've actually had no crashes on the tablet. I mean, it, it hasn't been forced to restart or have any forced closures on any apps. I've actually, I'm, I'm actually really surprised with uh, the, uh, with how many apps works with it. I mean, I have zero problems with apps working on it. 
everything I've thrown at it uh, is working. Okay, so Blitz Brigade is having some problems right now. It's not the tablet, it's probably the, their servers. So let's go into Alien vs Predator. In the meantime, this game is actually having a bit of problem, not with the performance, but with glitches. Uh, some walls are missing sometimes, and yeah, it's it looks pretty damn stupid sometimes. But that's not the uh, but that's uh, the asphalt. That's not the tablet because every other game I've used actually works perfectly. That is an alien. For those people who don't know, but I believe that many people do. Smooth gameplay. Gonna kick that dude's ass. And we're gonna free my little buddies over here. I've already played this map a bunch of times because this is actually a quite fun game. I'm just being super bad at it right now. Kill him. I wanna eat your face. Yeah, head bite. Let's free my babies. As you can see, there's some, there's um, the wall disappearing, and it's now it's reappearing, and now it's disappearing. That that's some glitches in this game. I don't know why. More glitches there and glitch and glitch. But that's probably the app's fault, not the tablet, since I don't have any glitches with any other game. But that's enough of aliens. Let's go to another online shooter, Shadow Gun and uh, Shadow Gun Dead Zone. See if we have any more luck with that app. And as you also probably can tell, uh, the tablet loads the apps very fast, works very good. Actually, faster than uh, some other tablets that I've used before. Retrieve and play that. Yeah, I have played this game before, so it's not the first time. I actually, uh, most of my playtime with this, I actually connect this to the TV and I use the PlayStation 3 controller. Unfortunately, I do not have my PlayStation 3 controller at the moment, so I can't show you how it works, but I can, uh, but I can assure you that it does work. So just connect your PlayStation 3 controller to it via the, the dongle that you get which goes from mini HD, mini micro USB to regular USB and you are good to go. Spawn and useless. Now I'm spawning. This game is also set at the highest settings. I believe it was actually. And as you can see it's smooth gameplay here too. And I just killed that dude. How did I die so fast? I have no idea what happened there. How could I die so fast? I mean, that's that's impossible. No, that's impossible. Where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? Why did I go into the boogie round? Oh yeah, die. Yeah, kill one more. Why can't I shoot? Oh, I pushed the wrong screen. Oh, kill again. No, I didn't kill it. That's what I Assist. Let's better reload. Oh, I killed him. Headshot. B -b 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 multi kill. Killed me and I killed him. Well, yeah, that's a good, that's enough of that game too. Let's go into the web browser again. This is a very image-heavy Swedish news website, and it's loading that very fast. Right now, it's showing sport the sports section. As you can see, smooth scrolling, many articles running. Let's go to a more uh, common website and gadget.com. This is just to get you an, an idea how fast it loads, and it is very quick at loading websites for a tablet standards, I would say. Of course, I can 
even though it, uh, the website isn't fully loaded yet, I can still sk move around and scroll. Very fluent. Works very good. And now it's done, took a little bit of time, but it's a very big website, so I can understand that. Let's go and check out some Flash content at Cinemassacre.com Which is the Angry Video Game Nerds website For people who don't know seconds. Uh, let's ignore that. Let's try this again, see if we can get an ad but we can skip. Because sometimes you do have the, uh, the luckiness to get an uh, advertisement that you can skip and it's the same advertisement, of course. Well, it's flash advertising and it is working very good. Smooth scrolling. Face to show works just like normal. Let's just watch this very fast first. See how fast the actual video is loading. Very fast, almost instantly. Games and might play. We're gonna play the Odyssey 2. This was actually the first game console I ever played. The audio uh, from the HDMI is uh, very clear. I've actually used the tablet to watch some movies and uh, it works perfectly. I've actually streamed, uh, I streamed from my computer a uh, 720p movie and it had zero issues with that. It just worked flawlessly. And I was actually surprised about that because many tablets have a problem with streaming uh, high definition content even over their own Wi Fi. But this tablet had no problems with that at all. And lastly, let's go to the website that I bought this tablet from. Which is this website here. It's a Swedish website. They are stationed in China and they specify on selling tablets and selling um, yeah, Chinese tablets and phones. Smooth scrolling. Let's see if we can start a video over there. Pops up instantly. It's a YouTube embedded video. Starts up immediately. And as you can see, it's working very good. No problems at all. That's enough of that. Well, in conclusion, this tablet is actually an amazing deal. I mean, it's a $230 tablet and it's working very, very good. I've had no crashes, no, no random crashes. I've used a Bluetooth uh, with a Bluetooth mouse and I had no issues with the Bluetooth turning off or the Bluetooth uh, uh, disconnecting or something like that. I've actually used uh, my phone to uh, uh, to send pictures and to send video from my phone to my tablet uh, with the Bluetooth and it's working good, very good there as well and uh, yeah in conclusion if you are thinking about getting this tablet and you are on a budget uh, know this that this tablet has an amazing performance it's the top of line it, it beats the Galaxy Note 10.1 in scores in benchmark and it is actually a, a little bit faster in web browsing with uh, than the Galaxy Note 10.12. It has uh, a very good, uh, a very common GPU. Uh, it has the Samsung Galaxy S2 with G G uh, GPU, so you know that games will be compatible and will be running very good on it. Uh, the the battery life is actually better than uh, the people uh, people are saying. 
It has uh, a 6,500 milliamp battery, but it, and it says that it's supposed to run for about seven hours. But I actually, like I said before, I will get around eight to t uh, eight to twelve hours of use of normal use, and I game a little bit, and I um, sit on Facebook, and I actually use the camera just for trying out the battery, and I use some Skype, and um, I usually get around eight to twelve hours, and that's with the brightness setting at fifty percent. And uh, the screen has very good vibrant colors, which you could expect from an IPS display. And uh, I believe, uh, yeah, this is an IPS, IPS uh, display. It's a very good display, I would say. It has very good viewing angles and natural colors. And uh, yeah, I actually like this tablet very, very much, and I'm really happy with my purchase. And if you are on the fence, or if you are thinking about buying this tablet, just buy it. It's, it's an amazing deal and it's amazing performance and the build quality is just for China, for China standards or for the Chinese tablet that I've used before it's actually up with the Samsung product and with the, the Asus Nexus 7 it's very good build quality and lastly I didn't ex when I bought the tablet it had Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean and as you can see right now it actually is running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean and that is not a custom ROM, that's the official version from Peepo um, it's down on the website, it stood on the website but they had an update for it so I installed it and it worked perfectly so if you want a good tablet with good performance, a good screen, good battery life, good speakers and at a cheap price buy this tablet it's it's very good deal and with that i can only say thank you for watching and leave a comment below if you have a question and subscribe